We're going to start by working on your shoulder. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, sort of spot work on the areas you're having difficulty. Okay. And then I'll lie you down and do much more of a conventional, relaxed session. Sounds good. So, first thing you mentioned was your shoulder. Yeah, right over here, the rotator cuff really hurts. Okay, so the rotator cuff, was this an injury? I think it's just, yeah, I mean, probably a little sprain. From okay, but it's out. not like something that you should have medically. No. Uh, okay. No. So go ahead, I want you just to show me your range of movement. movement and go ahead and lift it and pull it back. And I can see it's kind of tight there. Yeah, right over, really, Okay. You know, I feel a lot of pain over there. Okay. Well, don't do it too much if it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, but you have an idea what that range yeah. is. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a combination of Reiki. In addition to Reiki, I also uh, do sound healing as well. Okay. So first I'm going to just place my hands on this spot. Uh, most people just and just letting the Reiki soak in. Uh, it may just feel warm to you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people will feel uh, other kinds of sensations too. Prickles or chill, but warmth is most common. And also just watching you, I can see your breath is like trying to relax just at this. Yeah, I do feel the warmth on my uh, chest right now. Yeah. A lot of people will talk about Reiki as like a massageless massage. Mm -hmm. And actually you can do the entire thing without touching as well, but at the moment we're going to do a combination of some hands on and some hands off the body. Just because it's convenient. It actually feels really good. It feels really, really yeah. relaxing right now. Yeah, I can hear it in your vocal tone. Yeah. That happens a lot when you work on people. They start out being really sort of, Hi, how are you? And the more Reiki you do, the more soft and yeah. relaxed their voice is. about gets. 10 minutes, I'm going to be like, <laughs> Yeah. Well, good. Well, that's, that's why we do you on the table afterwards. Yeah. You, can, you can take a nap. Awesome. Okay, see how tight, tight it is right here? Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to make a noise. This is actually not Reiki. This is sound healing, but it's also something <clears throat> I do and periodically teach. Actually, first I'll make the noise so you can hear what it sounds like, and then I'll make it into the noise, okay. into that joint. So. Uh, this is actually a called overtoning, and I learned from Jonathan Goldman that basically it sounds like this. It's sort of the human foghorn. <laughs> now what I'm gonna, what it does is it vibrates the ligaments. So I'm going to do this into this area, and I want you to tell me if you know this any difference before okay. and after. Okay. like the sound blossomed at that point, that's a good spot. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I feel a lot of warmth. Like yeah. Right over there. And then I'm just going to follow that up with some Reiki. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. You use the left hand though a lot. Yeah. Here, this arm. So what I'm sort of doing is is now I'm transitioning from it's not just doing Reiki with my hands down, but it's a te another technique I've developed where you actually are almost using your hands to listen, mm -hmm. and I'm inviting this part of your body to complain. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of like sitting down and having a cup of coffee with somebody, and you may not sort of like you listening to people talk, to people sitting to talking about stuff you don't really understand. Yeah. You, as a compassionate friend, doesn't have to do anything <laughs> other than go, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just going to talk <clears throat> to this part of your body for a moment, and it's just telling me about how stressed out it is. It seems that most of the techniques I've developed involve a certain loss of dignity. So you're going to actually hear me talking to your body part, but you don't have to answer. Just I'm just going to talk to it for a second. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 You feel the heat building? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. 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 I think we got it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> that muscle's just relaxing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. Here's something you don't hear enough in real life. You're absolutely right. <laughs> of course. Uh-huh. And so it sort of goes through phases. It started talking really loud. Now there's just a small part of it that's talking. And you can see how you're feeling more relaxed too, just as I do this. Mm -hmm. Now, feel free to be tense if you like, but if your body's just relaxing. I don't relaxing. even want to feel tense. <laughs> yeah. 
This is like the most relaxed I've felt in a long time. Excellent. Yeah, another neat thing about Reiki is that people almost fall into meditation. Mm -hmm. It's not like you ever ask them to meditate, it just happens when they get sufficiently relaxed. Okay. Yeah. Also, another thing that happens when you're doing a deep release with people is oftentimes their eyes will go into REM. And so you see how your, your eyes are actually flickering? Mm -hmm. You're sort of doing a little brain reorg. Because it's the middle of the day, so it's unlikely you're sleepy, sleepy except yeah. for the fact that you're feeling relaxed. It's, a show, it's also a demonstration that a lot of brainwave activity happens when you do Reiki. There we go. I feel a lot of warmth coming from your hands right now. Yeah. Well, once we pull the stress out of that area, now it can like be accept the healing. Now the Reiki energy can go in much more deeply. It doesn't have to be brave anymore. I don't need any energy. I'm fine. I'm perfectly healthy. But once you get it over that, then it can really relax. Yeah, a lot of the techniques I use that are not traditional Reiki are sort of speed Reiki. They're things that, they're not necessary to doing Reiki, but they just make it work much more quickly. Otherwise, this would probably be about 20 minutes later to have this kind of response. I think you're ready to go to sleep standing up. I think so. You're sitting up. I think I might have just fell asleep. <laughs> I do feel a lot of weightlessness. Excellent. Well, I'm going to let go of you, so don't fall over. Okay. And I want you to move your arm, move your arm around and see if it feels any different to you. Actually, it does. Uh... Yeah. That looks much better. See what your range of motion is going backwards? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks much easier. It does. It feels, it feels easier. Excellent. Just like up here, usually it hurts, but now yeah. it just feels a little... Is there any area that you still feel strain? <clears throat> Probably like... Okay. Here. Alright, great. Yep, there's a little tightness there. I'm going to make another tone into this, but it won't take as much. And now we're just pulling out the energy that was stuck in that spot sort of clouds of emotion. You're just releasing clouds of emotion over there. There we go. I like to teach some of this work to massage therapists because usually they can't get a muscle to relax without really digging in. Mm -hmm. And this will just keep doing deeper and deeper layers, and because there's really no touch to speak of, it's it's completely um, doesn't bruise or anything. I feel a lot of emotions coming up. Is that normal? Yeah. Well, normal. Some people have that happen. Some people don't. It has mm -hmm. to do with what's you stored in this spot. Yeah. More than it does the ranking. You can understand what's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be brave to get a reiki session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually it will tend to release in a way that's much easier. It's just like, it's often stuff you're not really attached to anymore. It just goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's the emotion that was holding this muscle tight. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Annoying, but true. Excellent. And then we can get your posture to be straighter, too, if mm -hmm. we do a few of these. Shoulder again. Wow, that feels really good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> we like good. I like good. Mm. My favorite description of Reiki may, remains it makes no sense, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that feels good. Yeah, the worst thing to do is try and explain it too much. You mm -hmm. just do it and see what happens. <clears throat> no, it feels, okay. oh, it feels awesome. <laughs>